Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Monday the 23rd, and today was a lovely but yet cold, cold, cold day this morning, and most of all day actually was cold all day, so woke up way damn early, um, it's like 4 a.m., 4.30, something like that, I didn't really look too close, got up, um, had to get around to basically pack up the car and head back up here to Iowa, they were taking off to work, um, they had to leave, kind of, I don't know, I ended up getting around actually faster than I thought. So I could have left before them, but I just kind of hung around, talked to my friend and stuff, and kind of wanted to see them off. Also went out, started up their vehicle for them to let it warm up. But I went and started my own and kind of jockeyed them out of the driveway and stuff. So we get out of there, headed out home, and had the wonderful time of there's one of the main roads that the GPS tries to take me into their house that was blocked. When I came down there on Friday, and I had to kind of figure my way around it. And this time, instead of calling them and bugging them as they were on their way to work, I just said to hell with it. They started taking off on some side roads and stuff and end up finding a crazy ass steep hill in this little town that, like, if I was pulling my trailer in my van, like loaded trailer, I would have, I would, could, I don't know if I would have made it up in power. Like it was super steep. It's one of those things I thought, you know, if I wanted to go down and train for running around this area, I would definitely be able to do hill repeats on this hill and you could have yourself throwing up after three or four trips. Like this hill is just, it's gross. And if it's winter time, which I mean, obviously it's still winter, but if it was slick out at all, I would avoid that row with the plague. I don't know if I'd want to go up in the rain. It's literally, it was kind of almost nerve wracking. The top, it kind of goes up and there's one spot it kind of turns and kind of cuts back to the left that I really can't, I didn't know where I was going. I couldn't see what was happening. It was really kind of just an unnerving kind of moment, but it was also super dark. Uh, I realized the fact that I hung out at my friend's house this um, weekend and that and didn't really see the neighborhood at all in the daylight. So I came in really late at night and dark, left in, in the dark to take them to work hung out at my cousin's house all day and then from there got back home in the dark and then Sunday we just hung around the house we didn't go anywhere at all so went for a run in the dark and then left Monday morning also in the dark so I really have no idea what that neighborhood looks like in the daylight so kind of an interesting little thought I just kind of laughed about that but I got up this morning like I said headed out of there um, ended up stopping three times on the way. I was not used to the morning things. It kind of kicks my butt. I was feeling tired and kind of over, like, like I just really needed a nap almost. Stopped um, once and got some gas, took the dog out, let him go pee and that kind of thing stuff, ran around the cold a little bit, and then headed up, made it about another third of the way there, stopped in at a little town, and there's a little Walmart there. Kind of wandered around the Walmart, didn't really have really anything there I needed. I was looking at the clearance aisles and different little things. Um, went back out, took the dog out, let me go to the bathroom, let him run around a little bit in the cold, kind of wake myself up. Then drove up and I got about a half an hour, 35 minutes from home, stopped in again. I could have made it that time, but there's a little store that's kind of like a, I don't know, like a, like a junk type store. It's a lower end, um, Japanese, Chinese knockoff type tools and stuff and touch lamps and all kinds of weird little things like that, that it's kind of like a Harbor Freight, but just a lot of weird stuff. They got blankets and all kinds of weird things that kind of wonder on there it's been through new owners like four times now back when the original guy had it it was an awesome place they had like the best price on stuff they always had it they had the game down pat pretty well and the guy wasn't so stingy they sold it to somebody else who thought they could raise prices they ran it under get, the guy got it back he put it back to where it was built it back up and they sold it and sold it i think it's been like three or four times been sold now and the new people have brought in a lot of other things nobody apparently wants they've raised the prices up like the exact same item like i can get literally the dollar store they've got like a dollar you know 98 on a couple of them a couple of things dollar store had they had 398 on and i'm like i understand the fact you're in a little shitty small town right there in the middle of rural missouri that most people are never going to get to a dollar tree but those of us who do now don't trust you on anything else you have so I went ahead and a couple of them actually had the Dollar Tree sticker. Like you could tell that their label UPC code thing on it. So obviously it's the exact same product. They went and bought it there, selling it here for four bucks. So um, they have all their tools have went up in price to the point where they used to be cheaper in Harbor Freight, which is hard to say because Harbor Freight is one of the cheapest um, places that sells cheap tools. And they're now like upwards of 50 to 60% higher than Harbor Freight. So, and that's sex. It used to be 10 or 15% cheaper in Harbor Freight on most of their items. But Oh, well, I kind of walked around there a little bit and getting to the point now where I'm like not really concerned if I ever step in there again. But I get through that town so seldom that when I do and they're open, usually if I go through there, it's really late at night, come back home from Missouri or really early in the morning, they're not open yet. So if they are open, I'll figure I'll stop. It takes me, I don't know, half an hour if I want to walk through it, you know, 
taking my time. I can do it in 10 minutes or I can do it in an hour, depending on how you want to spend your time there looking at different stuff. But never know. Maybe I'll find some really good deals there eventually, or maybe I'll get a different owner that wants to run it like it was ran for the 30 years or so originally. So we went ahead, finally made it home. I uh, was happy to be here. Got a bunch of stuff put away. Did laundry, caught up on a bunch of things. Um, just kind of chilled out. I did think doze off a little bit, about 15, 20 minutes in the chair there. Um, just it happens. I went to the gym, um, got my run on in that. Ended up going to Aldi's and bought one of those like massage sticks. It's just a cheap little version for like 10 bucks. The massage stick with a massage ball. Haven't used it yet, but it's cheaper than a $60 one they want. That's actually called The Stick. Um, went ahead and basically, I don't know if I'll use that often. That's why I figured I'd spend the 10 bucks on it and see if it is something I'll even use at all. So one of the things I hope someday if I ever end up around other runners and stuff after training that, I'm hoping I can convince the other runners to kind of force me into doing the massages and doing the, the basically recovery stuff that needs to be done, the stretching, foam rolling, all that kind of stuff. I just, I'm, I don't know, I'm just so damn lazy. I never do that stuff. So anyway, that was my main part of my day there. I'm going to go ahead and get off here uh, and basically try and get some sleep. It's super early tonight, but I am just exhausted. So I'm going to try and head to bed. I'm going to try and get to sleep before 10, 11 o'clock, maybe something like that. If all goes well, I'll be asleep before then. So talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.